MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the L.A. Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He will lead this one off today. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Got it, second. The shortstop, Corey Seager. Standing in now, Corey Seager. And it's one and two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's in the center field for another base hit. And trouble's brewing here to start the ball game. That is third. The first baseman, Max Muncy. Stepping in now, Max Muncy. And that misses up and in three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Count still full, three and two. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. The next 3 2. Hey, five foul balls in a row. Loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Next up for Los Angeles, Cody Bellinger. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. A ball and two strikes now. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Not on that one as it's fouled away and the count holds at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. And a relay home. And he is in there. That is it. The left fielder, number 31. To the plate now. Jock Peterson starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Still one and two. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And another foul ball. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a miss, and that's a much needed first out there. Next for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. And the Dodgers with an opportunity for more here in the first. Now the one and one pitch. Now the double steal is on here. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. It's there in plenty of time. He's out trying to steal third as they get the lead runner here. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now with the play, Trent Grisham. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. And that's out number one. Digging in now for San Diego. Fernando Tatis Jr. Bases are empty, one man out. Junior. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. To two and two now. Two 
And he got him. Now at the plate, Mitch Moreland. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Kershaw gets the sign. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. At the plate, Will Smith. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. A ball and two strikes. Count is one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Into the box now, Gavin Lux. A ball and two strikes now. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hit softly down the line at first throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close next to hit will be the pitcher Clayton that Kershaw the pitcher number 22 Clayton Kershaw now the one and one pitch waves and misses for strike number two he is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in and now he's raising eye levels to boot hit back up the middle Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Digging in, Mookie Betts. He reached on a single in his first try. Two out, nobody on. Two and one now to Mookie. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. Here now the two two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. And in steps Manny Machado. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And a good throw gets him one gone. Next to the plate for the Padres, Will Myers. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Hard liner towards short, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Into the box now, the Jake baseman. Cronenworth. Cronenworth. That's lifted the other way out to left. On the move is Peterson. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. The one two. Misses ball two. Three and two now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Pulled toward right center field. Back goes Grisham. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. 
So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. Now the one and one pitch. He's in there for strike number two. One ball, two strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. There to play it is Profar, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. 1-1. Uh, one, one. And he chased it in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jurickson Profar. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first in time, one away. So stepping in, Austin Nola. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Padre still with the big goose egg in the hit column thus far. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. All even now, two and two. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Another 2 2 offering. Fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw on to first will take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Chris Paddock. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Kershaw is ready. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Peterson. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The 2-2. He stays alive, still two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Chris Taylor. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now Stepping back. into the box, Will Smith. Will. He'll try to follow Smith. up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The 1-1 home is strike two swinging. Smith leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Trent Grisham. One and two here it comes. Hit to first. He's got it. And the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. So the base is empty here with one away and up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Two and one. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Striding into the box, Mitch Moreland. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Three balls and a strike to count to Moreland. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And that misses for ball four. And the Friars are going to have themselves a two-out base runner. Kershaw comes set, coming home with the 1 1 pitch. Popped him up. Lux is under it. And that's the third out. Stepping in, Clayton Kershaw. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And Tatis is there for route number one. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order, digging in Mookie Betts. He's one for two in the ballgame. The 1 1 is in off the plate. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Pitch on the way. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And that's the second out. Ready for another shot now. Corey Seager. He flew out Corey. in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And the 2 1. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Max Muncy would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Now a curve ball in there. Strike three called and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now. And coming forward the veteran outfielder Will Myers. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. To two and two now. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Struck him out. Stepping up to the plate, Jake Cronenworth. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and Jurickson Profar will be the next to bat. The 3 2 pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Betts will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Matt Strom takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Padres. Number 55. Digging in once again, Max Muncy. Lifetime versus this arm. He's one for four. Here's the 2 1 home. Now Muncy with a swing and a deep drive to right. Myers looking up. So now to the plate, Cody Bellinger. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Lays off. Two and two now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Coming to the plate now, Jock Peterson. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Grisham is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever-versatile Chris Taylor. The 1-1 home. Ball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Jorge Mateo is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Jorge Mateo. And he fouls this one off. Hit out towards second. And there's one away. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Trent Grisham 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here it comes. One out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. And it's fouled away. Got him. Stepping in, Fernando Tatis Jr. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Kershaw looks in. Here's the one and one. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Padre shortstop ahead with the three ball one strike count. And the count will be full. On the ground to third. Throw on to Muncie gets him and with that they'll end the inning. Adrian Morejon is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. Adrian. Stepping into the box, Will Smith. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two. Nope. That's inside. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Fouled off. A 
down. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Ready once again, Gavin Lux. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Fouled away. Another one two delivery. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in on to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Digging in now, Clayton Kershaw. 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. <laughs> and it's to 2 and 2 now with the bases empty and 2 gone here in the inning. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Mitch Moreland. And they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. The 3-2 one more time. And he fouls this one off. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Manny Machado, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. There's ball four. Into the box, Will Myers. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Kershaw still unscored upon here through six and a third innings. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a base hit. And the no hitter is gone. The batter, the second baseman. More than one. At the plate, Jake Cronenworth. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, and he can't come up with it. So coming to the plate, Jerickson Profar. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are loaded here, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Wow, the Padres have been scuffling so far. They need to get a big hit, and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. The one two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And there will be no advance here. It's a wasted opportunity as the bases now, remain loaded the with captain. two away now. Now the one and one pitch. Two out, bases loaded. Swing and he pops him up, and this should get him out of it. Lux is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Here's Mookie Betts. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. swing and a shot hit down the corner but this one will bend foul had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck and it's fouled away the one two 
I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now at the plate, Corey Seager. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Skied in the air to straightaway left. There to play it is Profar, and there are two away. Two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. Two out, nobody on. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Greg Allen will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Greg Allen. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The center fielder, number two. Standing in now, Trent Grisham. To two balls and two strikes now. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. The 2 2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Junior. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Nope. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Trying to strike him out for the third time. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep to center field. Bellinger looking up. Answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Into the box, Mitch Moreland. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So here's the cleanup hitter, Manny Machado. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The one two. I got to count two and two. Fouled off. Still only one out in the inning. Softly hit here to the left side. And that'll get down for a base hit. The battle, the right field, Will Myers. To the plate now, Will Myers. A one and two count to Will Myers. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. 
fouled away. The one two. This is hit to third. Will it be two? The second for one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Tim Hill enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning. And next it'll be the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting. The left so next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Nobody out, runner on first. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. Back over to Moreland, and they get two out of it. So the base is empty now after the double play. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Chris Taylor. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. And a good pitch, but it misses here, and that moves the count back to even on the Dodger third baseman. Two and two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Kenley Jansen is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number 74. Striding in to start the ninth, Jake Cronenworth, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And the pitch on two and one. Hit on the ground to third. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. Jerickson Profar digs in next. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. One and two. Bases are empty. One man out. That misses and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Hot shot toward third. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the now second bad. out. Digging in to try it again. Austin Nola. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. The 1-1. One, one. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. San Diego down to their final strike. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Giving chase is Bellinger. Around first, digging for two. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Fouled off.
has them down to their final strike. Here it comes down the first baseline. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk it. So it's a good... Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, folks, that's what Kenley Jansen does. When he enters the game, the hopes of the other team, they usually just leave. Slams the door again right here. Four to two, the final score today. The Los Angeles Dodgers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Clayton Kershaw pitches well enough to get the W, so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. For the victorious Dodgers, four runs on five hits, 